This is Luke from Emo Electric. We're here today to try out the Torquedo Travel XP. We're super excited about this motor. It's the first five horsepower electric outboard on the market that has an integrated battery that sits right on top of the cowling. All the other motors in this size range that are electric have separate batteries. Uh, whereas this one, you have the same convenience that you have with the three horsepower motors that we're used to. Uh, in addition to being five horsepower, Torquedo has totally revamped their travel line. So they have a new three horsepower Travel S as well. They've redone their kayak motor and they've added a lot of great features. We're going to make another video that runs through all of those features in a little bit more depth. But just to give you a brief overview, one of the things we really like is that they've eliminated the power cable for the battery. So the connection is made from the battery there into the motor here. Just slip it on, slide it forwards, clips in, your power is connected, your data is connected, and you're good to go. They've also eliminated the cable for the tiller. So the tiller is now built in, has a backlit color display, can connect to your phone via Bluetooth for updates, uh, look at your past trip, GPS, range data, all that. The tiller also moves way up and way down, which it did not used to do. So that can be really nice if you're standing up or if the transom of your boat needs the tiller to be angled. They've also made it a lot easier to lock and unlock your motor. So for sailors, in order to lock the motor straight, you used to have to take the battery off and put a pin inside. And now there's just a little lever on the back of the motor here. And one of my favorite updates, which is something that I can't believe it took this long for, uh, for Torquedo to throw in there is adjustable trim and tilt angles. So in the past, you either had to be all the way up or all the way down, but now there's a few places in between where you can lock the motor at an angle. So if you're in shallow water, you have a few different options and all the way up now can actually be 90 degrees up. So if you have a low transom or an angled transom, you can definitely get it out of the water or you can leave it at one of these positions um, like the older motors. So let's, uh, let's put her on board. We're gonna try this out on our 19 foot Flying Scott. We're really curious to see how this will compare in terms of speed and range to the three horsepower motors that we're used to. Uh, so let's hop on board and give it a try. So when you go to put your Travel XP onto the boat, your tiller is likely stowed down like so. And you can hold the shaft from this handle. This is a new feature. They've really beefed it up. It's a great place to grab your motor and hold it. And it also is a great place to lock your motor to your boat. So we're gonna flip our tiller up so it's out of the way and ready to go. And then we're gonna take the cap off of our power data port there, lift our motor up, Step on board, drop it onto our bracket, and then get it tightened up. Once we've secured the shaft of our motor to the boat, we'll grab our battery. This is gonna pop in like this. Once it goes down, we slide it forwards, and that's what makes the connection, and that's it. No wires to plug in. All we need is our kill switch and we're ready to go. So we're out on the water now with uh, the Travel XP. Very similar to the older Torquedo motors in terms of, of sound. Uh, we just opened the throttle up all the way. We did about 4.9 knots. That's pretty similar to the speed that this boat does with the Torquedo Travel 1103, which is the older three horsepower model. So not a huge difference in speed, 
But what I suspect is in rough conditions, right, when you're fighting a lot of wind, a lot of waves, a lot of tide, the speed on the older travel goes down a lot. It just doesn't have quite enough power to really push through the wind and the waves in those conditions. Whereas with the five horsepower Travel XP, I think we'll be able to keep our speed up when the conditions get worse. So here we can see Torquedo's new color display. It's a lot brighter, a lot richer than the old display. It gives us a bunch of data. We can see right now that our range is 10 nautical miles, and it gives you your range not only in miles, but in hours and minutes, which to me is a lot more useful. In the bottom left corner here, we can see our power output in watts. Right now that's at 390. It's a 1600 watt motor. So we're at about a quarter throttle right now, and we're moving at three knots. Our RPMs are down here. We're at 820, and in the upper right-hand corner there, we can see our state of charge. So we're still at 94%. As we increase our speed, we'll see those numbers start to change. Now, it doesn't happen instantaneously. There's a built-in GPS, so it takes a couple seconds for the motor to make these calculations. But you can see now our power, watt, power output in watts has increased. Our RPMs have increased. Our speed has increased, we're up to 3.8 knots, but our range has gone down a little bit. And that happens all the time with these electric motors, right? The faster we go, the shorter range we have. So the solution, if you need to go further, is often just to slow down a little bit. So one of the things that I really like about the Torquedo motors is that you can adjust the steering friction. So when you're sailing, especially in a boat like this, it's not always convenient to have your hand all the way back on the tiller. On my old Torquedo 1103, I tightened up the steering friction so that I could do what I'm doing now, which is steer with the boat's rudder and the boat's tiller and not have to keep my hand on the tiller of the motor. I haven't adjusted it on the Travel XP, so it's great that right out of the box, the steering friction is tight enough that we don't have to keep our hand on the tiller the whole time, the tiller of the motor, that is, uh, but it's loose enough where it's still easy to move that tiller around. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the Travel XP does come in a remote steering option, so you can hook it up to a regular Teleflex steering system, or you can lock it in place if you're always going to be using your boat's tiller to steer. Now. The setup that we have here is my personal preference because if that motor is locked, it makes it difficult to turn in tight spaces. All right, if I try and make a tight turn here, the boat doesn't turn nearly as quickly as if I move the tiller of the motor. So if you need to come in and out of a marina, into tight slips, tight spaces, it's nice to have the flexibility to use the tiller of the motor when you're coming in and out of the marina. And then once you're out, especially if the wind dies, you can just leave the motor centered like that uh, and then use your boat's tiller to steer. Now, if we were gonna go like this for a long time, we could adjust the tab on the back of the motor and that would lock the motor in place, right? So it can't, can't move at all, whereas now, now it can. So those are great features that I think are really important to sailors that often get overlooked in some of these electric outboards. And I'm really glad that Torquedo has addressed them. So one of the features that I'm so happy Torquedo finally added to these motors is the adjustable tilt angles, right? So in the past, most electric outboards this size that you got were either all the way down or all the way up which is a problem if you're in shallow water. This motor has quite a few different tilt angles for shallow water, and we're gonna see how they work now. So to get it going, I'm gonna lift this lever up and push the tiller down. And there we go. We're at our first shallow water angle. The tiller is starting to hit the boat here, but because the tiller is also adjustable, I can lift it up and then start to cruise along like that. 
So our prop's not quite as deep in the water. There's not a lot of feedback here. Still feels pretty good. I think on this boat, this is probably the highest that I could go, uh, but let's see what the next one looks like. So there we go, that's a little higher. The prop's barely in the water here. And you can hear that, that cavitation. So that's a little bit too high, but that's all right. Even that one angle there, that's enough to reduce our draft by a couple inches. And sometimes that's really all you need. And then when we go to pull it all the way up, that's about as high as I need to go on this boat to get it out of the water. That's not at the full 90 degrees. So on this boat, that doesn't really matter. But on some boats, that's a really nice feature to have to get the prop and the motor all the way out of the water. We've been out here filming for about 20 minutes now. The motor's been running the whole time. And I just took a look and we're at about 80% state of charge, which I'm pretty happy with. One of the most common questions we get about any electric outboard is how long does it last, right? What's the range? So on the Travel XP, we have a 1600 watt motor and a 1425 watt hour battery. So if you do the math on that, it's about 50 minutes of runtime. We had for a little 45, 50 minutes when we first left the dock and went full throttle. So Torquedo's data on that seems to be pretty accurate to us. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is, you know, full speed, you don't often need, especially on a boat like this. I think I mentioned before that we did about 4.9 knots at full speed with this motor do about four and a half with the three horsepower Torquedo. So it's not a huge difference. If I were to have this motor on my boat the whole time, I think the only time I'd have it at full power is if I'm fighting wind and current, right? And trying to keep that speed up in rougher conditions. But most of the time, like right now, we don't have to be going full speed. We're cruising along and we've got plenty of range. So like right now, Right now we're doing four knots. We've got two and a half hours of range uh, and we're on 80% battery. So if I crank it up to full speed, I gain a knot, but my range is gonna go down to less than 40 minutes. So a lot of that range anxiety is really unfounded because you're not usually running at that full throttle. Most boats have a sweet spot somewhere in the middle. With the three horsepower motor, I found that was about three quarters throttle. But with this motor, it looks like it's only about a quarter throttle, right? We're doing about 400 watts in power output now, cruise along at a comfortable speed. Uh, so we have plenty, plenty of range with this motor. So we're just experimenting a little bit with what our range and speed are like at different power outputs. Right now, our power output's 360 watts, so it's less than 25% power. Our range is nine nautical miles, or three hours, and our speed is 3.2 knots. And keep in mind, we're down to 79% battery, so if we were fully charged, that would all be a little bit higher. So personally, for me, the Travel XP would have plenty of range. Most of the time I use this motor, it's getting in and out of the marina. If there's a weird wind angle or if I'm out there sailing and the wind has died, most of the time, I think I would charge this battery every five, six times I used it. So the range looks good to me. So another great feature of the Travel XP, but really all electric outboards, is that you can operate them at really low power outputs. So when I was just coming to the dock here, I was at 50 watts, coming in nice and slowly, which makes docking a breeze. With gas outboards, right, idle forward is often pretty fast. You're in and out of forward and neutral, whereas with the electric, getting down to that really slow speed just makes it a breeze to get on and off the dock. So we're back at the dock. We finished our sea trial. We're gonna take the motor off of the boat 
And one of the other features that I kind of breezed over and to be honest, forgot about before is that it's a little bit easier to take the battery off here because we can spin the motor all the way around. Pull that lever up, pull the battery back, lift it up like so, and then you don't have to be hanging over the stern of the boat like I was when I put this battery on when we left. So we just finished up our first test run with the Travel XP. I'm really impressed with this motor. It's noticeably more powerful than the three horsepower electric outboards that are on the market. So if you need a little bit more power, if you're in conditions where there's a lot of wind, a lot of current often, this is a great choice. The range was excellent, especially when we reduced the power. And all of these new features that we had heard about from Torquedo, like the back backlit display on the tiller, the battery that doesn't have a cable anymore, the adjustable trim angles, the steering lock lever, all of that stuff didn't just sound great, but it worked as advertised. So Torquedo has really stepped their game up with this motor. We're really happy with it. If you're interested in buying one, we'll link our online store below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or go over to our website, give us a call, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you.